without something immodest, part of my vision for the core is not only to improve on the existing facilities, but to develop new ones that would have added value in our quest for better performance. This informed our decision to reconstruct the old parade ground and build new staff of residential status in commission today. My pump said it is worthy to note, therefore, that this remodeled, new constructed parade ground was in a state of disrepair, unbefitting of the standards the Corps has carved for itself. To correct this, I undertook an inspection of the parade ground to get first hand knowledge of the exact situation and what needed to be done to put it in good shape to enable it to measure up the design standard defeating the core that we are in the city. We are happy to be here for the commission of these projects. And I'm particularly delighted to be associated with these developments in the core. And I'm also impressed with the level of commitment and dedication to achievements within the short time that the CG has been in office. I wish to applaud the efforts to transform the core and to note that remodeling of the parade ground will further boost the training and manpower development needs, taking into consideration the need to effectively tackle the complexities, sophistication, and dimension of emerging security threats in the country for a safe and secure Nigeria. Civil defense and indeed not, uh, NATO have hydra headed problems, therefore, must require an octopus legged solution. In addressing some of the excruciating challenges some of our retired officers, in particular, are passing through and which is making them die in drones after retirement. One of them is non-payment of gratuity, pension, and, and the other statutory allowances due to them. Non-implementation of the proposed conditions of service to retire civil defense officers now languishes under very excruciating harsh economic conditions to the extent that visiting Abuja by some of the retirees to transact any form of business has become a problem. Appointment of retired officers into strategic positions in government, boards and committees, as is the case with other security agencies in Nigeria, just to mention the two.